As mentioned in a previous lesson, Excel displays the workbook name along the top of the standard toolbar. Since we haven't saved this workbook yet, the generic workbook 1 file name still appears. Let's save this workbook to a new folder on your computer. You can either click the Save button on the standard toolbar, or on the File menu, click Save. Now in the Save As box, type a name for the workbook. You can use spaces, numbers, lowercase, uppercase, whatever makes sense to you. The Format pop-up menu lists all of the different formats that you can save a workbook as, for example, PDF or other special formats. For this document, let's use the default XLSX Excel format. As you can see, the file extension is already appended to the file name for you to indicate the format. XLSX is a standard workbook format for both Excel for Mac and Excel for Windows. The Where pop-up menu lists the most common and most recent folders where you've saved a workbook. To save in a folder that's not listed in this menu or in a new folder, click this button. Then click New Folder and add a new folder called Excel Practice in your Documents folder. Finally, click Save, and you can see that the new file name now appears on the standard toolbar. When you're done with the workbook, you can click File, then Close, or click the red Close button on the upper left corner of the workbook window. When you close a workbook, you might notice that the Excel menu bar is still visible. This is because you closed the workbook, but not the application. To quit Excel, on the Excel menu, you click Quit Excel. But before we do, let's look at a couple of ways to find and open the workbook we just saved. First, click File, point to Open Recent, and here is the workbook. If the file you need isn't listed here, click More to open the Excel workbook gallery, which we saw in the first lesson. Then look here under Recent Workbooks, select the workbook, click Choose, and you're ready to make additional edits. So those are some of the basic tasks and skills that you will use when working with most Excel workbooks. Want to learn more? Check out Help and the Office for Mac website for additional videos, tutorials, and content.